Peter Snelson. I'm here uh, this weekend making handles for walking sticks. I make quite a lot of thumb sticks and use antler and various shapes of handle for the different types of stick and the different uses. This is called a market stick and it's generally this height so the, the, uh, the farmers when they're at market they've got something to lean on. And also uh, from a practical point of view it's good for catching um, sheep and small animals. If you do a lot of walking a, th a thumb stick is uh, you know, perhaps your, your, your best companion. Walkers if they have problems with, with, with walking. These always have a rubber ferrule on the end because the length of the stick is very important to the individual person. So I can take the rubber ferrule off, cut the end off and put the rubber ferrule back on when they've got the, you know, the, the correct height. If um, you want something a little bit more a bit more adventurous if you like got some with, with with cords on and a nice cord to put your wrist put your hand through so it's always there while you're doing something else <clears throat> this this particular stick is what they call a twisty caused by vines that to grow up around it and is much prized by um, stick makers if you want to make your own walking sticks they need to be seasoned um, something about as thick as that which is hazel will probably take about a year to season you can't make them green because they, they they're too soft the, these uh, handles have a, a standard pattern you draw the pattern out on a, a plank of wood and then you carefully cut them out on a bandsaw I've drawn lines on there because that's the limit to which I want to take the um, try, try, try and keep it nice and even with, with the, uh, the tools I'm using. As you can see there I filed it down to those lines. I now file on those lines to give it the, the, the curve and once I've done that I do the inside using uh, different tools um, going down to from something as coarse as that to as fine as that and then to to finish off using something what I call strapping which is used in that sort of method to get it nice and round nice and smooth always working with the grain especially when you get right down to <clears throat> something as, as, as smooth as that. I don't do a great deal of work on that end because I'm not sure what size shank yeah, the, 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 the stick is going to go on there. I don't want to take that down too small and not be able to use it because if that's too small the head is too big it needs a lot of work to reduce it uh, to, you know to make it look right so really there isn't a, a, a huge amount it's you, you, you can learn stick making in a couple of days that's, that's nice. but it takes many many years to get them really good from...